Memle Dagbe, Yeranami, Sabbath blessings to you. This is Joshua from Chosen Vessels, the Preacher's Channel. Today is 11 9 2019, and the title of this presentation is Why the Serpent Was Cursed with Losing Its Legs, explained in the ancient Hebrew, which is the Evan. And speaking of which, three questions arise as far as genesis chapter 3 is concerned the first one being why did yahweh curse the woman's child bearing and the verse is genesis chapter 3 verse 16 i read from the king james version unto the woman yahweh said i will greatly multiply thy sorrow and thy conception in sorrow thou shalt bring forth children, and thy desire shall be to thy husband, and he shall rule over thee. The second question being, Why did Yahweh curse the labor of Adam by causing the earth to produce thorns and thistles for him? And the verse is in Genesis chapter 3, verses 17 through 19. And unto Adam, Yahweh said, Because thou hast hearkened unto the voice of thy wife, and hast eaten of the tree of which I commanded thee, saying, Thou shalt not eat of it. Cursed is the ground for thy sake, in sorrow shalt thou eat of it all the days of thy life. Thorns also and thistles shall it bring forth to thee, and thou shalt eat the herb of the field. In the sweat of thy face shalt thou eat bread till thou return unto the ground, for out of it wast thou taken, for dust thou art, and unto dust shalt thou return. And the third and last question being, why did Yahweh curse the serpent by changing its mechanism of mobility, in other words, by taking away its limbs? And the verse in Genesis, uh, the verse is in Genesis three fourteen, from the King James Version. And the Lord Yahweh said unto the serpent, Because thou hast done this, thou art cursed above all cattle, and above every beast of the field. Upon thy belly shalt thou go, and dust shalt thou eat all the days of thy life. So the latter, which is question number three, is what this presentation is going to be about. However, if you have the answer for questions number one and two, please feel free to share your, ans your, your answers with us by writing your answer in the comment section below this video or simply uh, write us to 7 is 3 ayahoocom So... We're going to first explain why the serpent is associated with pride. And secondly, we will draw the parallel, the parallel between the serpent and the tribe of Dan. And lastly, we will explain why Yahweh changed the serpent's mechanism of mobility by taking away its limbs, all by means of the ancient Hebrew, which is the Abbey. Now, why the serpent was cursed with losing its legs, explained in the ancient Hebrew. The UF, UF health researchers uncover how snakes lost their legs in an article published on uh, October 20th, 2016 on www.npr.org. And I will leave the link in the description box of this video it is a very short yet in, uh, very intriguing science uh, research presentation and the first image here is showing uh, uh, the, the tail end of a python and the second image here is pointing at uh, rudiments of of its legs like black spots next to uh, its veins 
a claw sticking out okay right there and then they looked at it uh, genetically so this is uh, the genetic uh, genetic circuit that controls limbs development in pythons here compared to uh, the circuit that controls limbs development in lizards as you can see the uh, the python has only a tiny claw right here and everything else is missing so they identify a break in the circuit in which an important gene called sonic hedgehog which is required for limbs development only flickers on and goes off in in the python okay it's missing whereas that gene stays on in other living beings such as um, humans or animal animals uh, driving the limbs development all the way down to to uh, the fingers and the toes lastly they saw that three mutations in the three mutations in the genome of the python that are responsible of a very weak activity of the gene causing the sonic hedgehog to only flicker on and then off because the activators of the genes are not able to bind and switch on the transcription these here to the right are stages of a lizard growing limbs and these here to the left are the genes of of the python uh, the gene responsible for growing the limbs flickers on then it is gone it is a very interesting finding so uh, snakes are not able to grow limbs whereas lizards and other animals or other living beings are able to do so and it confirms the account of genesis chapter 3 verse 14 and the lord yahweh said unto the serpent because thou hast done this thou art cursed above all cattle this is uh, the first indication that uh, snakes used to have limbs and above every beast of the field upon thy belly shalt thou go and dust shall thou eat all the days of thy life so why did yahweh take away the serpent's limbs so this is the ancient Ave, this ancient hebrew pictogram for foot okay a, a four i mean it is foot in english it is in number 16 of the ancient hebrew revived the complete chart it means to dominate okay in isaiah 14 verses 13 through 14 in the king james version we read about the serpent about uh, the devil satan for thou hast said in thine heart i will ascend all right ascend uh, into heaven and i will exalt my throne above the stars of yahweh i will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north i will ascend okay above the heights of the clouds i will be like the most high so the serpent the devil uh, satan wished to dominate the the creation that is the symbolic meaning of the foot and why Yahweh took his 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 feet or his legs or limbs away from him also the word for serpent in the ancient hebrew is the da it da it means snake and then the word for pride is da 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 uh, details about this letter here is in number 19 of the ancient hebrew revived the complete chart so the da it means cast in the air or exalted okay pride and uh, uh genesis 49 verse 17 reads dan or the tribe of dan shall be what a serpent a dan okay shall be a serpent by the way 
and an adder in the path that biteth the horse heel so that his rider shall fall backward and also in the book of Luke chapter 14 verse 11 we read for whosoever exalteth himself okay uh, shall be abased and he that humbleth himself shall be exalted so to dominate the totality of creation has been the devil's campaign ever since since the beginning so uh, the foot symbolically in the ancient Hebrew is uh, to dominate it means to dominate and the the name the word for snake in the ancient Hebrew is the da it means a serpent it also means pride so the devil the serpent or Satan wished to dominate the creation in its entirety even the creator himself if at all possible but Yahweh humbled and destabilized him Yahweh took away his legs metaphorically his dominion so that he will not rule over us so that he will not rule over mankind and again whosoever exalts himself shall be abased and he that humbles himself shall be exalted so um thank you for watching please stay tuned because we have more on the way until next time